Hey guys, so I just got permission from some homeowners to just give you guys a quick walkthrough of what it's going on in Waverly. Uh, so just a moment ago, I was in this house. Uh, I'm not going to break any confidence, but a member at uh, Waverly Church of Christ. And you can see this house, they just told me the story that the couple had to break out of the top to get out. You see that busted out because the water was up so high. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to show you how high it was in this house and what the mud looks like. And then I'm going to walk across the road and show you where Gabriel and Ethan are working right now. Uh, in all this, as I show you, um, I wish I could tell you all the stories people have told me of God's provision and what God has done to help. Now, there's no lights and electricity, so it may be a little bit dark, but you can see the mud that just got washed in and you can see the water line is actually right at the top of my head right there that's the water line as it came in this house this sweet 99 year old woman she was not here because she tripped and broke her toe a couple of weeks ago and so we were just in here a few minutes ago i think this house is not going to be saved uh i think they have signed a FEMA de declaration for this one that it's going to be gone but uh, you know, when water gets in and it sits in a house, these chest drawers were swollen and we just helped the family members pop them open uh, with pry bars and search for home items, uh, search for valuable items for this sweet 99-year-old woman because she's still recovering in the nursing home from her broken toe and so grateful that she's okay. So, and they have had looters in the area. Of course, you can see all of those uh, low-income housing apartments all of those were struck by the flooding and so this family is connected to John Smith through the Waverly Church of Christ and um, just had the blessing of sitting and talking and and uh, loving on some of them and then I don't think this building was here originally <laughs> if you guys couldn't tell so of course the X um, markers are for when recovery teams come through and declare the house to be clear with um, no bodies, no dead bodies in it. The house that Gabriel Ethan and I have been working on is over here. They're taking a break and there have been some other crews working on this house. You'll see that it is a lot farther along. And yeah, so you can see this house obviously off its foundation and the whole thing's moved and shifted it's a loss uh, this brick house it stood it stood firm and so gabriel and ethan are on the back of the truck enjoying a little bit of what do we have gumbo some sort of gumbo jambalaya. barbecue turkey jambalaya something something like that so as i take you in where we've been working on this one uh you can see this one has had a lot more progress uh, last Saturday was when the flood happened. You can see some of the floorboards are still wet and moist where just today we got the uh, subfloor off the top of the slats and now we're taking out nails from the floor, uh, trying to smooth it out and taking out screws and nails from the wall. Uh, so we're trying to clean it like this room over here, as you can see. This room is cleaned. Everything's cleaned off the walls. Everything's cleaned off the floor. This room is ready for the disinfectant spray. So they'll come in and spray a spray that will kill uh, molds and fungus and bacteria. And the entire house has to be stripped clean before it can be sprayed. And of course, um, these ceiling fans will have to go because the moisture will actually wilt those blades. But um, they were able to keep the ceiling. The water in here I think you guys can see a wet mark. Looks like the water in here got up to my chest level. And so that would have been a solid four and a half feet high. Maybe a little lower. Here's a good water line right here. Uh, so crews have been coming down the road and picking up debris. That's good. But there is so much work to do. And of course, I'm hearing from neighbors that people on the other side of town haven't had help yet at all. It just... Uh, there's multiple locations that got this deluge. It wasn't like floodwaters that just rose. It was a wave that washed through the town. And uh, all of a sudden, the people from this house rode it out in the attic. And one of the sheriffs came and floated them out while the water was still armpit, armpit deep, but was not flowing, at least. 
he came and got him out of it. So, uh, so that's what Gabriel, Ethan, and I are doing. And in the next few months, there's going to be a, a lot of this. So um, definitely come on down. Definitely be praying for the people of Waverly. Pray for the ministries going on at Waverly Church of Christ. It is a good and an amazing thing. And uh, thank you for praying for us, for our safety. And we will see you back at church on Sunday.